In this video, I will introduce an alternative optimization method for smooth function under convex constraint set. Okay. So this is uh, introduced by Frank and Wolf in 19, 1956. Okay. So the Frank Wolf algorithm is designed for convex optimization with cons constraint set, convex constraint set. So the method is very simple. So we find yt, this is argmin over convex constraint set, and we consider a objective function with a linear form, gradient of f x t transpose y. So here we define a linear function, linear fine function, at point x t with the gradient. So basically, we consider a tangent line of your real objective function f, and then find the minimum point over the affine tangent line under the constraint set. Okay, if there is no constraint set. Uh, naturally, this value go to negative infinity, and y value go to some infinity value or minus infinity value. So it will diverge. But here in this case, we have convex constraint set. So this does not go to infinity, but go to some boundary point. Okay, so we'll go to some boundary point. So yt always a boundary point, okay? And then we do not use yt directly, but we interpolate yt and xt with a step size gamma t. So xt plus 1 is equal to 1 minus gamma t times xt plus gamma t yt, okay? So why this is useful? Let's consider a very simple example, lasso regression case. Lasso regression case is this. We define a, a convex objective function, mean squared error or L2 norm error. So here we want to fit x uh, we want to find x that then minimize ax minus b norm the square. So this is definitely a convex optimization problem. And we want to uh, find this convex optimization problem solution under the condition the one norm, L1 norm of x is uh, bounded by 1. Okay? So when we consider L1 norm, uh, we usually have uh, many zero value in the entries of your solution. So this uh, basically make very sparse solution. Sparse means your solution contain many zero element. And the L1 norm has such power, and this is called lasso regression, and that is very uh, famous, especially when you want to make a sparse solution in the end. Uh, Frank Wolf algorithm can easily find the solution. So using the gradient descent algorithm, of course, we can find the solution because this is convex optimization problem, and gradient descent algorithm always converts to the solution point when you have convex objective function and convex constraint set. But the problem is when you have constraint set, you always have to find some projection point when your next iteration point xt plus 1 so or yt plus 1 yeah yt plus 1 is outside of your constraint set then we have to find xt plus 1 such that the distance to yt plus 1 is minimized and the xt plus 1 belong to the constraint set okay that was constraint version of um, gradient descent algorithm and this projection usually not trivial and requires some computations. So Frankel algorithm for Russell regression case make the problem much easier. So let's consider this. 
xt plus 1 is equal to 1 minus gamma t xt plus gamma t yt where yt is as defi its definition yt is equal to argument here the y comes from the constraint set and gradient of fxt transpose y This process is much easier, much simpler than the projection onto L1 ball since this is the definition of L1 norm and this is the uh, affine function uh, defined at point xt. So from the definition of L1 norm, we, we know that uh, we can minimize this affine function by using this. Okay, so we just need to find the the maximum absolute value of your gradient vector and then just use the, the index that having the maximum value of your gradient okay so we just need to define yt plus 1 is equal to minus sign of gradient of fx um, i so this is just a scalar and just indicating plus or minus and multiply with this um, element vector so basis vector of i's axis right so basically this yt plus 1 makes the minimum value of this affine function of the, the condition this l1 norm right we know that the sum of absolute value of your y vector always less than or equal to 1. So you can minimize this value with, uh, with the opposite sign with this gradient vector. And with um, one value, having one value when the absolute value of this gradient is maximized among all entries. Okay, so that, that is very basic. Uh, logic uh, computation okay right so we can consider a uh, duality gap what is the the gap between the current function value and the optimal function value and this uh this duality gap can be measured by this so g let's say g x t is equal to gradient of f x t transpose times x t minus y t. Okay, so here y t comes from the definition of Frank Wolf. Okay, then from the definition, uh, g x t is equal to max of gradient of f x t transpose x t minus y. Okay. From the definition of your Frankl update method rule, and from this max operation, we can replace y by x star, and we have uh, this inequality sign. Okay, because we we take the all possible y belong to our constraint set, and we consider the max value. So when we replace uh, this y and max operation by a specific point inside your uh, inside your constraint set, then you have this um, um, less than or equal sign and have uh, this inequality. Also from the convex property, we have this. Okay, so from that, this gxd function, this duality cap can uh, define or can uh, say something about the, the gap between the current function value and the optimal function value. Okay, then how can we define the step size gamma t? There are multiple different ways to define this uh, step size gamma t. One very simple common approach uh, define gamma t is this simple function 2 over uh, t plus 1 this is roughly 1 over t so 1 over t is a very basic step size form 
Or we can uh, define gamma t very adaptively to your uh, current yt and your current function value. So you basically every time you do some line search and then find the minimum point on the line. So, so find the gamma t then minimize f1 minus gamma xt plus gamma yt. So it requires one more computation. So we have to find the minimum point among this line space. You have to search. So when this is very easy to compute, then of course this is very powerful because we find the minimum point among the search line. But when this is not easy to compute, then it is okay to use this common a simple form. Or you can define this gamma t using the duality gap gxt. So when f is a beta smooth, this is one possible way to define gamma t. So now let's um, let's analyze the convergence p of Frank loop algorithm, especially for this case. So this is theorem 3.8 of our textbook by uh, Sebastian Bubeck. <coughs> so let f be a convex and beta smooth function with respect to some norm. And let's say r is radius. So this is the maximum uh, diameter of your constraint set. And let's use gamma t is equal to 2 over t plus 1. Then for all uh, capital T, we have this fx capital T minus fx star is less than or equal to uh, 2 beta r square over capital T plus 1. So how to show this? We can use mathematical induction. Okay, we can show theorem 3.8 for capital T equal to 2. And we show that uh, t plus 1 case hold when capital T case hold. Okay, then from mathematical induction, uh, we can say that for every t greater than or equal to 2, we have this inequality. Okay, so to conclude this, I'll provide this very important ingredient. Okay, what, what is xt plus 1? xt plus 1 is equal to 1 minus gamma t times xt plus gamma t times yt. So from the definition of xt plus 1 and from the convex and beta smooth property of your objective function, so we can uh, derive this inequality. The first inequality line comes from the beta smoothness. So since our objective function is beta smooth and convex function, we have this. And the next line comes from the definition of xt plus 1. So let's think, so let's plug in xt plus 1 by this. Then um, we have um, xt plus 1 minus xt is equal to gamma t y t minus xt. So this becomes gamma t times y t minus xt. And this line, we essentially use uh, this fact as well. The diameter is less than or equal to r. So xt plus 1 minus xt becomes gamma t times yt minus xt. And yt minus xt norm is upper bounded by r. So from the definition of xt plus 1 and the definition of the radius r, we have this inequality, right? Okay, and then this line used the definition of yt. So because yt is the, um, is the optimal point uh, for the affine function gradient of fx t transpose y. So this value always um, greater than or equal to any other y value inside um, your constraint set. So when you uh, replace yt by x star, then you have this inequality. Okay, 
And uh, next line, we use convex property of uh, object function f. Then we have this. So when we denote by gamma, uh, delta t fx t minus fx star, then we have delta t plus 1. Delta t plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 minus gamma t delta t plus a beta over 2 gamma t square i square. Oh, sorry, here this is not delta t plus 1. So this is <coughs> delta t plus 1 minus delta t. And this is delta t. So delta t move to here. Then you have, sorry, this is, uh, this is minus delta t. So we have delta t plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 minus gamma t delta t plus beta over 2 gamma t square r square. Okay, so since um, gamma 1 is equal to 1, delta 2 is just equal to beta over 2 um, r square. So we naturally have uh, this inequality for the case capital T equal to 2. Okay, so there is no problem. You have uh, this inequality for the case capital T is equal to 2. And you also can check other case as well.